welcome to my channel in this video we are going to talk about five unpaid scopus index journal which you can definitely submit your article if it is really under your scope so before proceeding if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and then you so before selecting any journal few things you should remember so first one is you have to check whether it is indexed in scopus or not okay for that you have to come to scopus.com and search in the sources whether it is there in scopus second one is you have to check for the scope of the journal whether your article is really under the scope of that particular journal the third one is you have to check for the frequency of the journal how many times a year they are issuing their journals so fourth one is you have to check for the time period for example once if you submit your journal or submit your article to the journal what is the minimum time period they are taking to get back to you so that is what the time between your submission and the result or the status by the journal and the fourth fifth, fourth and fifth important point is what the price the processing charge or whether they have any hidden charges okay and then other things you have to consider is for the template of the uh, article like what are the templates you can also check for the archives in almost every journal you will be having the archives that is previously previously published uh, papers will be there you have to take that and check how they have written their journals you should not copy that okay you have to just see an idea how they have written so let us proceed keeping that in mind i have i'm showing you that applied computing and informatics that is what the first journal which we are going to see so the publisher is world emerald and the scope is here they are covering 2011 and from 2014 to present this is what the important thing which you have to check okay so yes it is great so let us click here home page which will take us to this page so here you can see aim and scope just click here you can see the complete aim and scope of the journal okay what are all the aim and what are all the subject area they are covering okay e business mobile commerce it education enterprise database it applied aspects health informatics almost many areas they are just covering so if you are paper your article is related to this scope then definitely you can proceed further okay and you can see the author guidelines as well so here you will get some important tips like what are all the key factors you you should you should consider while writing your paper while preparing your manuscript like format article title acknowledgement structure keyword everything everything you will be getting in the author guidelines okay so before submission what you have to do and what will happen while submission post submission copyrights everything so in the frequently asked question you can see that is there a submission fee for the journal so here it is clearly mentioned they have clearly mentioned that there are there is no charges to the author okay if you are under platinum oa agreement oa means open access agreement so in that itself every open access charges will be there if you are not under that agreement then you don't want to pay any fees for here okay so if you want to become a member reviewer anything you can just go and search there okay and then you have to check for indexing and ranking where they are indexed with so the very important thing is as we know this is indexed in scopus then apart from that if you want to check whether any other indexing is there you can also check that okay and this is q1 q1 no, it is under q1 okay and here you can see what are the other statements which they have few journals will directly tell you like what is the time duration for their publication and everything few journals will not show that specifically anywhere so in that case what you have to do is you can mail them and ask what is the uh, average time period they will take to uh, uh, give let you know the status and then you can also ask some more details if you want okay so as of now here uh, we couldn't find any information about that sometimes it will be there available in if you go and submit click submit your journal then you will be uh, knowing the uh, some more details about it okay so if you want uh, to know about that so faqs you can click faqs and check for the frequency of the journal and everything few journals will not directly tell that so you, for that you have to contact them you have to send a mail and you can get the information about it 
okay here you can see author what are the things which you need post acceptance task or attributes keywords reviewer detail payment whatever it may be okay you can just check so let us proceed to the next scopus index journal that is nature electronics so the publisher is a springer and you can see that um, it is like 2018 to present great so let us proceed with that so this is what the springer okay nature electronics here you can find the complete aim and scope uh, here they are covering many things like uh, spintronics spintronics uh, flexible electronics everything this is completely related to electronic sensor if you are uh, if your uh, thing is related to sensor your article is related to sensor definitely you can consider this okay of course since it is a elsewhere related springer related publication you don't need to pay any fee okay they, uh, in everything they'll not be specifically telling you but here they have mentioned like only the article processing charge if you want to make it as a open access okay and uh, they will be asking you 9500 if it is a if it, you want this to be an open access okay or else they will not be asking anyhow if you have doubt regarding this you can just send a mail to them and know about like what is the uh, complete information about article processing charge how you have to process and everything okay so this is the home page apart from this if you want to know more about the frequency of the journal okay you if they have been given you directly okay then you can definitely go and check here uh, like um, in the archives if you go and check in the archives you can find that uh, how many days they are taking approximately to publish okay so submission guidelines you can see and about the journal here you can see completely like journal information even here in this journal also they haven't given very direct information about it somehow we have to go and extract the data from the previous uh, uh, print okay like an archives go and get the archives and you will uh, get to know more about the journal the next one is what materials today this is also an elsewhere publication so of course it will be like you have to pay only the open access uh, fee if you want sorry article processing charge if you want to make it as an open access so let us see here so here you can see if you just type and check for charge it will not tell you at no additional charge there won't be any specific charges related thing and only if you want to go with the open access they will be asking you okay so let us see whether they have given any information about the um, publishing time and everything yeah great so they are taking time to the first decision they are taking nearly 2.6 weeks and here you can see that this is a site score uh, and uh, the, the review time will be 3.5 weeks after your submission so if you click here read full aim and scope you can see what is the aim and scope of the journal completely like what are the important um, uh, subject they are dealing with so it is like um, chemistry okay any other specialized uh, uh, subject so they are just uh, they are just considering that as well innovating cutting edge and influential work so you can just com completely check the scope of the journal and proceed with this yes ieee in transaction on pattern analysis and machine intelligence so here you can see that this is since 1978 to present so till now it is there under scopus index journal yes great so so here uh, you can see that this is the subject area is mathematics computer science computer science and artificial intelligence computer science vision many things they are covering many 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 topics here so let us go to the home page and see what is the scope of the journal see let us see here it's an impact factor article influence score this and all they have given great if you click on the aim and the scope you can find some more information about the aim and scope of the journal okay medical image analysis video image everything they have given everything and then if you just scroll down and if you want more about the publication details you can see even here they have just mentioned about the open access that means that you don't have to pay any specific fees okay publication fee the publication is supported by subscription and applicable article processing charges okay there are there is no cost for publishing with ieee Authors may take advantage of some of our fee-based offerings. So here you can check what if you want to make your paper as an open access, then you can go and check this completely, like how, what type of thing you can just uh, uh, um, uh, access and uh, submit your journal if you want it. Or in few of colleges, you may have 
uh, what to say you may have um, uh, that is uh, they will have a tie up or they will have the membership with the IEEE or Springer or elsewhere then you can definitely consider that as well okay and here they have mentioned that frequency is 12 then of course definitely your uh, your uh, result the status which you can get will be very fast okay so the status of your uh, uh, your article whether it is accepted or uh, rejected so whatever it may be that you can get it very fast and the last journal which you're going to see is what international journal of information management so here itself you can find the complete scope of the journal what they have covered and if you click here source home page you can go to this and of course we are always seeing the springer and elsewhere they are just offering a free free for publication so here uh, what is the scope? What are the topics they have covered so far? It is like a security and organization, social interaction, development, knowledge, agendas and everything. So these are all the um, topics they are specifically concerned about. That is the scope of the journal. And uh, going forward, you can see the abstraction, abstracting and indexing as well if you want to know more about it. If you click on the guide for the authors, you will get to know about what is the processing charge for your uh, submission. So this is elsewhere so there won't be any fees only unless and until if you are if you want your uh, paper or article to be in an open access that is anyone can access okay but anyhow it is better to go and check whether do you have any specific uh, fee for that so yes uh, here uh, before submitting or before proceeding even any uh, i don't know when at what time or what date you are just looking at this video so whenever you're watching just go and check whether it is indexed in Scopus, go to the Scopus uh, website database and then check whether it is there still in Scopus because Scopus always updates the journal often every three months, every three to four months they'll be updating. So it is better for you to go and check that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this, please give a like, share this to everyone and uh, share this knowledge and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.